Hey guys, welcome to the third video of this project. Quite a bit has changed since the previous video. Um, the most notable change is the change in engines. So we've moved to an engine called Unity and basically this change will make it a lot easier to do 3D uh, graphics as well as make it easier to publish to different platforms and even consoles and as well as it also makes it easier to find resources um, they have this thing called an asset store and you can basically browse it for free assets to download and use in your project or even buy assets or asset packages to use in your projects so that's the biggest change and then we also have a few new team members a 2D artist a musician and a writer so yeah let's take a look at what it looks like now that the game is in unity so notice the GUI is pretty similar but instead of just a static picture in the background we have a scene from the game in character creation we enter our name uh, just like we did previously and we also can now choose a portrait that our artist has drawn a couple as examples um, basically the player will be able to choose what their character looks like and then once you do that you start the game and so I'm going to show a few new things the first is going to be what's called a radial menu now you'll notice that it's basically a way to quickly access different screens in the game with the press of one button this basically makes it um, easier to use on consoles for example we don't have to press a bunch of different buttons to access different screens we just press one button and so in this uh, Right here we have a world map icon, so when we click this we'd go to the world map. But we haven't implemented this yet, so we won't see anything if we do that. The top we have the skill tree, I'll show you that in a little bit. The cargo hold. And then the bottom half is basically weapons. So the idea is you'll be able to switch between beams and cannons um, at any point during combat. Um, going to this menu pauses the game and then you'll also be able to select a missile launcher skill um, from the skills that you have learned related to launchers so let's take a look at what the skill tree looks like so you'll notice it's a lot it's 3d basically so um, when we hover over one of these panes we get a 3D kind of animation there and the animations are done with a free uh, animation library it's called a tween a tween library and basically you can animate different objects pretty easily through uh, scripting and so basically our skill tree is three uh, panels and when you click one it will bring it up into a closer view and then you hover over the skills which will show you tooltips on those skills and yeah so for other trees it's the same thing and for the weapons tree we actually have some icons that our artist has created um, basically we have beams cannons launchers all the same skills as before um, it's just presented in a different fashion so yeah that's kind of what the skill tree looks like in the new 3d GUI system now the GUI system I created from pretty much scratch I didn't buy any of the unity asset GUI packages but basically it's just creating uh, planes from the script and adding textures onto them um, and yeah to get uh, hover animations it's basically casting a ray from our camera to our cursor so it's kind of like pixel perfect uh, hover state detection so we can see exactly where our cursor enters or leaves the GUI so yeah 
that's pretty much it for the skill tree. Another thing I want to talk about is kind of another view that we can easily do thanks to Unity. We can actually change our camera to be in front of our ship. So now we're in kind of an FPS view. And so we can kind of see more easily all the objects in our scene. Now the way this is going to work in the actual game is basically we'll go to FPS view for um, cinematics and certain encounters maybe boss bosses or quests or something like that but the bulk of the gameplay will still be um, top-down so basically we have a few things composing the scene one is a skybox and that's basically the background so you can actually I've just shown you how we can change skyboxes. I just pulled a few skyboxes from the Unity Asset Store. Just kind of see different ones. Um, yeah, so basically we have a skybox instead of just a 2D background. And a skybox is just six textures uh, alongside a, the inside of a cube that surrounds the entire scene. And then we also have this thing called a lens flare, which is this star that's um, basically following our camera and then we also have basically our 3D objects that will represent the background um, I pulled this from the Unity Asset Store as well but basically there's a package that allows creating a bunch of different uh, planets so we'll probably use that to create a bunch of objects for our backgrounds and then just kind of load those in dynamically for each scene um, depending on what we want to do for the scene so yeah that's pretty much how levels are created so that about covers it uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for future videos